Our favorite soap opera, The Young and the Restless, aired its 12,000th episode in December 2020. All these episodes and there has only been one Victor Newman. Eric Braden originated the role in February of 1980 and since then he has been the one and the only portrayer of the iconic character. But did you know this would not have been possible if Eric had not reconsidered his decision to quit the show early on? Why did he want to leave YNR and what made him change his mind once and for all? Let's find out. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Eric moved to the USA from Germany in 1959 and launched his acting career a year later. 20 years after stepping into the showbiz world, he got a call from his agent who wanted him to test for YNR. He auditioned and won the role of Victor Newman. He started with a three-month contract. He signed the papers and had said, no more than that. However, in those three months, Victor made a deep impact on viewers with his strong villainous personality. He was mistreating his spouse, having affairs, kidnapping and torturing a man and viewers enjoyed watching his bad boy persona on screen. The showrunners quickly offered him a year-long extension and although he did not like the character, his wife talked him into staying. They asked for an extension for a year and then I hated it, couldn't stand it, because I played a bad guy and I had burned out playing bad guys. I've played bad guys on over 120 television shows and I was sick and tired of it," he said in his recent exclusive interview with CBS. You may know, Braden released his memoir I'll Be Damned, How My Young and Restless Life Led Me to America's Number One Daytime Drama in 2017. In the book, he has opened up about so many experiences at the show, including the time he felt like ditching it. After exploring his first year in YNR, Braden started having second thoughts. I'd begun to sink into a depression, not over the work itself, but over what I perceived to be the lack of depth in the Victor Newman character, he wrote. More and more, I felt I was playing a dehumanized man who could be called cruel, manipulative and immorally shrewd for no other reason than because he could. I didn't understand what on earth was driving this man or as an actor what range there was to play in Victor Newman beyond his two most prominent qualities, charm and a megalomaniacal need for control. If that's all he was and all he was ever going to be, there wasn't enough substance there to inspire me to continue let alone on a long-term basis. Braden took his disappointment to the show's co-creator Bill Bell and his concerns were heard out. Bell came up with a backstory for Victor and it turned out to be a beautiful change. It was a Christmas storyline where Victor reveals to Nikki that he grew up in an orphanage. His destitute mother had left him there when he was seven years old after his drunken father abandoned them. The scene gave Braden so much hope about his character that after playing the scene, he immediately decided that he was going to stay. Once I played that scene, I walked in my dressing room and I called my wife. I said, I'm gonna stay, because I could see it open all kinds of possibilities, Braden noted in his interview. As of now, Braden is heading for his 41st anniversary with the show. He will be celebrating the career milestone on February 8, 2021. On this note, we'd like to wish Eric Braden all the very best and a prosperous journey on YNR in the days to come. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.